grew up in Peckham, Brixton, South London. I was expelled from school after being seriously abused by a number of white teachers who used to call us monkeys and beat us seriously. At this present time, I was then diagnosed with a condition called schizophrenia after being placed in prison and the ward of Morsley where I was systematically abused, locked in a cell, overtly medicated and sexually abused in the toilet. I was fortunate to be discharged and moved on quite excitedly to become, ironically, an approved social worker, a teacher and a commissioner. Lockdown, the scene of the murder, the savage brutalization of a black man who for 8 minutes and 40 seconds could not breathe. Because it reminded me of that being in prison and being brutalized and violated. And through my life and the life of my communities, I reflect at this moment of being in lockdown. Black lives does not matter. What matters is when I put this on and the world does not see my blackness. The world does not see schizophrenia. The world does not see fear or eugenics. It does not see demonization. This is my true lockdown. And as I try to remove this mask, there's a fear that I might expose people to that. Ironically and paradoxically, the mask has saved my life psychologically. And now I must use the mask as I leave my home and try and go out and put a new mask on. But I use both at the same time. The key message is for me as I look to that important moment on August the 1st, when I can leave the house and go out, is I don't know if I want to leave this house. I'm in perpetual lockdown. I just want to say before I finish this film, which has been really emotionally difficult to talk online to people who may watch this. If I'm not here, I live on. If I'm not around, hopefully this this testimony for this film about what I've tried to achieve in my life from working across the cover line to working with professionals to offering my lived experience, no matter how painful that is, would be a benefactor or beneficial to other communities, most black and white, as we try to achieve equality, as we try to address inequality, as we try to address equity.